Alright, welcome back to Y Sky Garage. On this episode, I finish up the roof rack. <laughs> So today I'm working on getting the roof rack mounted to the truck and I've decided I'm going to do it all in one piece and I'm trying to contour it right now to fit right on the roof line there and then connect to both the top and the bottom piece and then I'll weld these in. And then basically I'm going to run two carriage bolts down through here and then put a nut on from underneath so you will not be able to remove the rack without being inside. I just need to make these three look similar to the one I have finished. Alright, so that took quite a bit of hammering, but I got all four brackets made. We got all four mounts tacked into place. My phone was running out of uh, memory, so didn't get part of that on film. So as you can see, I got the headliner dropped down in the back. I have all the holes drilled. The first two bolts are in, and I think I'm gonna go get some shorter bolts. These stick out a lot further than I thought they were gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the rack off now and paint it. And then I'll probably grab some new bolts and bolt it up for good. All right, so I'm painting the rack with this uh, Rust-Oleum truck bed liner. So I finished painting the roof rack yesterday. We're gonna go ahead and get it mounted up on top of the truck today and see how it looks. I ended up finding an actual old tube from a tire that was just in the barn here. And I went ahead and cut out these uh, rectangles. Each one of these is gonna go underneath uh, one of the legs so that way it'll kind of seal between the body and the roof rack. So I haven't drilled holes in them yet, but I'm gonna put them up there, just po poke a hole through it and shove the bolt through so it's a nice tight fit. And then we'll go ahead and bolt the roof back down. Shorter bolts, 
also, so it won't fit all the way through. It won't stick out as well. So basically, I have the uh, piece of rubber underneath here, and that'll seal on the bottom. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put a rubber washer on each of the carriage bolts, and that should seal the head of the bolt. So I'm not worried about any water getting down in there. And then underneath, I have a washer and uh, one of the self-locking nuts to go on the bottom of each bolt. All right, so you can see there's the bolts on the inside. Alright, that wraps up our roof rack build. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this and a video in the future of me adding light, lights to the roof rack, then hit the subscribe button. I'll add a link right here.